You want me to show you what knee drive I'm talking about? What knee drive are you talking about? Where you're up against the wall? Up against the wall? Watch it's not helping drive. if you're Watch up against the wall. Yes, it is. Watch this knee drive. Stop. You see that knee drive? Oh, my gosh, dude. Watch that back glute fire right here, Jason. You want them, if you want your f***ing glute to fire, you can't hear me. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to New Heights. Hey, Presented by Wave Sports and Entertainment and brought to you by our friends at Fireball, the pound for pound undisputed best shot in the world. We are your hosts. I'm Travis Cousin, my big brother, Jason Kelsey, out of Cleveland Heights, Ohio, hence New Heights. We're taking our game to New Heights every day, and uh, we want you guys to come with us. New episodes come every single Wednesday, and subscribe on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. Make sure you follow the show on all social media platforms at New Heights Show with one S. And uh, Jason, as always, why don't you tell them uh, what we got coming up this episode? Trav, we got a big episode. We're going to break down <laughs> the schedule news for the Knew Chiefs, it. Eagles, and some of the things we look for when the NFL schedule is being released. we are also got some no dumb questions. Thanks to you guys for right, submitting man. them. We're going to learn when the live show is officially going up for all of you to take it in. And, of course, nobody knows this yet, but we're going to announce it right now. We're going to be announcing a competition. A for you competition guys. for the 92%ers. Big, big prize. 92%er competition. Big prize. Brand new competition. Big prize. Can't emphasize that enough. Big. It's not a small big prize. It's a big prize. Might not be big in terms of actual like size, but it is going to be big. Excitement, big. It's going to mean something. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I don't even know that we know what it is we yet, but it's going to be big. <laughs> but it's, all right, here we go. <laughs> but first, as always. You know it. New news. New news. Hey, yo, uh, we're the number two podcast on Spotify. On all of Mystery. Spotify? On all of, well, sorry, number two sports podcast on Spotify. No, oh, okay. All right. Couldn't win out to uh, to Bill Simmons, who's dominating the uh, NBA playoffs right now. Shout out to Bill. Uh, but thank you, as always, 92 percenters, for tuning in each and every week and getting us towards the top of all these charts. Yeah. We are now not the only ones keeping track of the charts. As my man Tyreek Hill, shout out to Tyreek. Shout out to Reek. Uh, said on Twitter, Kelsey Brothers, we coming. The cheetah. Yep, where he was just behind us. On just the Apple, uh, a bit outside. He was one spot back on the Apple podcast charts had to be the marshawn lynch episode shout out and you guys got to watch the cheetah podcast man cheetah is he's he's a character himself man yeah man i mean he's he talks really fast that's the only thing i would well, say pretty sure that guy does about. everything really fast I, I think that's the biggest thing is uh, he talks fast he plays fast he got runs the fast need for speed i feel like people that move that fast their brain has to be working way faster than mine yeah if you're you sending I mean? impulses you gotta, to your feet to move like that your brain has to be on a completely another wave. Damn, that's like seeing the future. We are also finalists. That's right. We're finalists for our own awards. The What's New the Heights new? Awards. You know? The Shorty Awards. Ooh. New Heights is a finalist, uh, which is awesome. Um, we got to thank you guys for that. Yeah. Um, the categories that we're finalists for are sports and sports podcasts, which I think that makes sense. Kind of the same realm, but we'll take yeah. it. Yeah, we'll take um, it. If you want to show your support, uh, feel free to uh, tap the link in the description. You can, I think, maybe vote. I don't really know how it works. Yeah, click that link and vote for us. We are best in sports finalists and sports and health podcast finalists. Guess we got to thank uh, Athletic Greens and for getting us in the health category. A shock, fueled by nature. All right now. All right now. What else? We got a little plant based. Thermogenics going on. That's the, hey, yo. the old healthy alternative. We also have a live show update. Oh, the live show is going to drop Monday. How about that? <sighs> yep. Next Monday, May 22nd, the live episode that Travis and I filmed in Kansas City in front of over 2,000 people at the Kansas City Music Hall is going to drop. So make sure you're subscribed and don't miss it. It was uh, probably the most fun episode we've ever done. I don't think that's a stretch. <laughs> I don't think so either. We will still drop a regular episode later in the week on Thursday, but the live show is coming at you fast. It's going to be here next Monday, May 22nd. Not right now. So make sure you're ready. That's right. Two New Heights podcast episodes in one week. God, what more do you want? 
What more do you want? Let's get on to some uh, fan mentions of the week. All right. You in it? The Andy Reid comments. Last week, we uh, we finally got the old ball coach to come on and have some fun with us. And, uh, man, it was a knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> see what you did there. Not right now. It was long awaited. He was probably one of the first people that uh, we thought of about bringing onto the oh. show. Just had no idea how we were going to get him on. For um, sure. Jason, is there afterwards, is there anything you wish that you would have asked him? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. I, would have asked, I wish I would have asked him more about cheeseburgers because I feel like he's a man who knows his cheeseburgers. He definitely knows his burgers. I wish I would have asked him. There was a uh, there was a, there was my rookie year. I had the knee surgery, but before I had the surgery, I was kind of limping around the building a little bit. And he kind of looks at me he's like, man, just stop limping, man. You know, just yeah. like trying to be a encouraging, good coach, trying to, you know, get me to stop, stop being down in the dumps yeah. or whatever it was. Sounds stop encouraging. Limping. I was like, I look back, I'm like, coach, you, you limp too. Like you, you limp everywhere. He looks at me and says, well, that's because one leg's shorter than the other. And then walked off. And I was so, was so young <laughs> in my career that I'm like, <laughs> Is that real or is he just Did he really, messing with me? He played collegiate sports. Like he, that can't be true. And then well, I started thinking about it. I'm like, it might be true, but so I, I still kind of want to get down to the bottom of this. Wish I would have asked him, but we ran out of time. Yeah, I mean, I would have asked him anything because to be honest, I got to talk to Big Red all day. I wish you know we would have had more time, uh, but you only get what you get. And um, he's a busy man, so you know, thank you, Coach, for coming on. It was a blast. Uh, talking, reminiscing, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Well, let's get to some of the uh, the great. comments. Let's get to some of oh, these comments cool. that are uh, these fan these fan favorites or our favorite fan comments, I should say. Uh, starting off with uh, the shortest wide receiver at shortest wide receiver. I'm a Raiders fan. <laughs> we got the Raiders fan as a 92 percenter. What? Hey, Bob, how about that? But uh, at shortest wide receiver says I'm a Raiders fan, and I'd be lying my ass off. If I said I didn't love Big Red, ah, God, he's a hard guy man. to hate, man. He's a hard guy to hate. I don't know anyone that's hate him. Yeah, that's fair. AFL Emming 1207. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but you know who you are. Hopefully they I'm had an ice pack ready for Andy <laughs> because Travis was smacking the heck out of his leg. Yeah, no, I don't know how I got into that. I feel like he slapped my knee one time and like that's where we were. We were slapping knees. Yeah, there was a lot of leg slapping. It was a, it was a leg slapper. It was a knee slapper it was it was <laughs> that's the way it happened <laughs> all right now yeah no hey. i um i was extremely nervous the entire episode so i blacked out and i didn't even realize that i was doing that it's not usually yeah. my go-to but um yeah i was just trying to you know <laughs> not fuck that up moving on to john oster 8508. I got to know, Travis, did you get Jason to try Lamar's Donuts? I keep telling everybody they're the best donuts on the planet as they are. And uh, was that glaze good enough for him? All right. Now, how'd you like that glaze, Jason? Travis did get me to try Lamar's Donuts, and they were fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Really good rise on the donut. It was, I mean, it, it was wasn't nice like a fluffy. little. Mm -mm. Yeah, very fluffy. Mm -hmm. Glaze was good. Mm -hmm. I think we got one in Philly. I think Bay Layers I'd rather have. But the puff on the Lamar's was better. I mean, I would give that donut. You know, I don't want to give out tens, you know, but they, I'd give it a solid. I give Lamar's glazed. I give it a solid nine. I'll take nine. Nine's, a, I give it nine's a solid, the most respectable number you can give something. I'd, I'd give it a solid nine. One five. Nine one five. I don't see anybody that says something's a full out ten. I don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, there's a the, the, the glaze was. I, I probably should go eight. Like, fuck I should you. probably go like fuck eight, you. eight. Don't do this. You already said nine. Because I mean, the glaze was good, you but it wasn't. It, it didn't have like a lot of flavor to the glaze. The donut, like the dough portion, what was. You, what I mean, flavor do you bad. want? A glaze is just sugar. What do you yeah, mean? That's, but there was a little bit. It was. It was just. It wasn't glazy enough. It, was. it wasn't as no, enough sugar. There was. There was enough glaze on it, but it was lacking Not a enough little butter? bit. I mean, Travis, I'm being very specific. It was a solid donut. It was an 8-8. Eight, eight. It was a solid, 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 solid. All that matters is it's my favorite. So, And I'm mouth is watering I think that's just why thinking about it. Maybe I just think of an 8-8 eight, eight because it looks like it's four donuts have been stacked on top of each other. 
or next to each other. Like two donuts makes one eight. Two, two more donuts makes another eight. All right, moving on to Michael Beha. Five, 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 seven. Could anyone imagine Belichick cutting it up on one of his players' podcasts? Or this question, how many current head coaches would do this? This is a good question. This is actually the reason why me and Jason took so long to get our coaches on. But um, thinking yeah. Dan Campbell in Detroit, Pete Carroll, possibly Doug Peterson in Jacksonville, uh, at all the rest can uh, crack walnuts, but their butt cheeks, <laughs> given how intense <laughs> they appear in uh, pressers and uh, patrolling the sidelines. Yeah, no, um, a lot of coaches really just don't have that charisma, man. And it is what it is. They're kind of stuck in, stuck in the old. Uh, I mean, I would absolutely love to name all of the guys, the guys. He just, I think, I think coaches are great. I think it'd be awesome to get coaches no, on. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, um, especially the guys that they just named. I think most of them would would come on their players' podcast if they had one. Well, if it ever happens, we'll know. We know our coaches came on ours. <laughs> our coaches came on ours. Andy went on Tom's. Yeah, but Tom's not a player anymore. Well, he was he retired yet when he yep. went on top? He retired. He was already retired. Yep. I don't. Th- I, don't uh, know that, I don't know if that's facts. Was who else? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's about it. We're gonna have to try and get Doug, Dan, and uh, Pete, though. I mean, <laughs> that's a, that, those about, are three. Talk about a good crew. Those are three good combos right there. Do people have the wrong impressions of NFL coaches? I don't know what their impressions are. It's a good point. I think I'm. Yeah. I think I'm, the, I'm a little biased to a, a few of them because I've played for them. I feel like I feel um, like the majority, the vast majority of people think NFL coaches are like this, like stone, like this, like kind of like a hard nose, like like Bill Belichick. Yeah, but even even more than that, like a lot of NFL coaches, like at least on like TV or in like shows and on like hard knocks and stuff, it only shows like them like getting on someone's ass about something or like you know what I mean. Like they're very yeah. serious, very manly, very like no fun, no fun zone. Don't fuck around. We're taking care of business here, boys. Yeah, I feel like there's a sense of that, without a doubt. Like there's the discipline aspect of it, but I think you still have to be pretty relatable and like personable to be able to get the respect and command out of everyone. I think every NFL coach leads kind of in their own way, and it has to make sense for the type of person and like personality that they have. Yeah. Like, obviously, it seems like Bill does it different than Andy does, who does it different than Pete does, and yeah. every and, you know, and Dan Campbell's out there biting kneecaps off, but All somehow right. you, right, you, you find a way to to you know get the most out of your players and to put them in the best positions. That's what the the name of the game is at the end of the day. You know, how well do you motivate your players? How well do you vo- motivate your staff? And um, how well do you organize all of that? And I think every coach kind of does it in their own style. And I think the ones that actually screw it up are guys that stick to like rigid systems that try to be other people. It's like, nah, man, you got to, you got to go out there and be yourself. Otherwise players are going to see right through that. And at the end of the day, you hold players accountable. You, you connect with them and, uh, and, and create relationships. You do the same thing with your coaches and, you know, you just, keep grinding and you know that's what the best coaches do that's the one those are the common denominators i don't think you know you don't need to be whatever anybody else thinks you should be or an impression of a, a coach you saw on a movie i don't no. think yeah i'm with you and that's a message for life ladies and gentlemen hey message just be yourself kids it's fun <laughs> <laughs> all right no dumb questions on the last episode we asked you guys to send us all of your no dumb questions we needed some new ones and you guys delivered hey real quick no dumb questions is brought to you by our friends at accelerator that's right accelerator gives us sustained energy throughout this podcast and more it also enhances our focus to give you guys your answers that you need to your not dumb questions your first not dumb question that's right. We're doing a couple of them this time. All right. Because uh, we like doing this. First no dumb question comes from Shay Lynn double zero. Double O. <laughs> double eagle. All right now. If aliens invaded the earth and asked to see our leader, who would we send? Well, I think the obvious answer the rock. is is no. You're you're tripping, bro. The obvious answer is Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> the aliens of the ad. No, you're thinking of Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Damn it. Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, was a a German man or Austrian, whatever the nationality comes from, but (laughs) it's a Californian now. Governor. Yeah, I mean, he already beat aliens. I mean, he beat predators. Yeah, I mean, he already (laughs) 
took down one of them. And you want to talk about one of the most intimidating. I mean, he's a little bit, I mean, he's not quite the physical specimen he used to be in his prime, but I'm still going with Arnie. That's I don't who know, I'm man. If we're going Dude. fighting off aliens, you got to go Will Smith, Independence Day. Oh, Men in Black. He's been fighting off aliens multiple times. He might be an alien. Not completely sure. Oh, Men in Black too. Men in Black too. Yeah, Men in Black. Men in Black. Independence Day. Yeah, I already said Men in Black. I missed it. I was I blacked out. You weren't listening to me. Nope. Yeah, who else have been some good alien slayers? Will we send? Oh, uh, what's her face? Was in all the aliens. What's her name? God damn it. <laughs> Sigourney Weaver. Dude, you are so good. I would have never guessed that's how. I mean, you... I didn't get it. They they wrote it down. Yeah, but I mean, I know it that, now. Even that right after there. They... Even that right there. Trying to read Sigourney right there. I would have fucking been <laughs> way off. <laughs> oh, that should be a bit. We have Travis pronounce other people's names. All right. Let's move. Okay, so I think. Do not set me up again, man. Who else would be a good uh, alien? Who's in Mars first? Attack? Who's in Mars Attacks? Man, I know. Uh, Damn it, Who? James Brown or uh, J- Jim Brown was in a piece of it. Ooh, Jim in Brown. Mars Attacks. Jim Brown's always He's punching a good through solid. the glass of them. We're going a lot of physical specimens. Should we not just put like a really like maybe no, Neil deGrasse gotta, Tyson or something like no, that? We, ooh, throw somebody out there that might know a little bit more about it. Yeah, a little knowledge there. Yeah. Hit him with some brain power instead of the physical power. <laughs> God, man. What a guy Neil is. I'm sticking to my original answer. I'm sending Arnold. I'm sending The Rock just because physical specimen, confidence. He'll yeah. he'll know what to do. The Rock's okay. He's a gamer, too. But he, he's, he's a not gamer, Arnold. too. He can relate to everybody. The Rock never made a, a movie like Kindergarten Cop a blockbuster. All right. What? He's made a fucking... Damn, that'd be a good fucking... Who is movie career? The Rock or Schwarzenegger? Travis, don't do this. Dude, that would be... It's not good. It's not even close. I love The Rock. Don't you fucking dare <laughs> put him in Arnold Schwarzenegger's category. Don't you fucking Dude, when The Rock dare. is the president of the United States in like What's The Rock's years? best fucking movie? What's The Rock's best movie? Ooh, Tarzan? He what do you think? Uh, Walking Tall was a good one. Mm. Dude, you are. What else? What else Come is on, a good Trent. one? Um, the other guys wasn't in it for long, but. This is my point. It's not The Rock. Jumanji. I mean, he was in one of the Fast and Furious, one Hart. of those fucking 800 movies, wasn't he? I'm not going The Rock. He's, he was in Jumanji. He is. He's in Jumanji. He does a great job. Listen, The Rock is good. It's just not anywhere close to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, no, man. I think his, his WWE career kind of exceeds anything that Schwarzenegger did. What? Dude, you are fucking out of your mind. And I think he's stronger than Schwarzenegger. He might be stronger than Schwarzenegger. You know, Arnold, he won how many Mr. Olympias or whatever the fuck that thing is for having the biggest tits of a man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you won. Moving on to... Oh, Predator, uh, Commander... Command, Predator, Commando. The best one. Fucking. The best one, dude. Do not fucking miss this. The best well, one. I already said it. It's Commando. No, 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 no. It's not even no, close. No, no, You're missing his best. You think it's twins with Danny DeVito? No, but that was Look a Look at the one. range. The range of Arnold is insane. What? Kindergarten Cop? Are you going no. All fucking those, Total Recall? Those were fucking buns. You're out of your fucking Kindergarten mind. Go back Cop? and watch him. Kindergarten Cop was Terminator, obviously. That's what yeah. I was. You're freaking... You're missing the best ones. You're missing another bad. Well, Terminators, best, another those are the one. ones that everybody else loved. But the best movie was Commando. If you disagree, go back and watch it. Dude. Maybe you'll laugh your ass off and enjoy the nonstop action. It was Taken before Taken was a thing. What was it was the much bar- better. Where's the, what was the uh, the Barbarian one? Uh, that is uh, fucking, why am I blanking on? Conan. Uh, Conan. <laughs> Dude, this is not even a competition. You're right. The Rock would fucking destroy him. In what? A wrestling match? Weightlifting, Probably. wrestling match. Not acting, I can guarantee you that. What? He couldn't even speak English, Travis. He, you couldn't even understand what he was saying, and he was a blockbuster yeah, hit and that's after why he, blockbuster and hit. that's why people liked watching him, because he had the voice, man. No. They liked watching him because he had huge tits, and he's a great actor. I'm sick of talking about Schwarzenegger's tits. Let's move on. <laughs> Every time you say tits, I fucking see those nipples staring at me. <laughs> All right, here we go. 30 seconds left in the Super Bowl. 
Who are you taking? Bobby Boucher from the Waterboy or Forrest Gump? I mean, there's only one answer here. It's Bobby Boucher. You're going to take a won, defensive he player won with 30 the seconds Bowl left? with this exact scenario. What do you mean? Well, they played him on offense. So you're going to play Bobby Boucher on offense instead of just playing Forrest Gump? You're going to take so the fullback? football player. No. Ball player, baby. Give me the ball player. A lot more tape on Bobby. Bobby Boucher. <laughs> we really only have ever seen Forrest Gump one clip, which is an amazing uh, – I think it was I'm, kick taking, off a turn. I'm taking the guy that knows he's in the end zone. You mentioned the good side of Bobby Boucher, but you failed to mention the other side where he had the interception and he proceeded to uh, run it all the but way down and then hand it, it to the other guy. He learned from it. He learned from yeah, that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I'm going. I'm going Forrest Gump. Yeah. No. I mean, two of my favorite actors. So I mean, he Forrest Gump was running sideways at one point and nobody could catch him. I don't know how that's happened. I don't even know how that's physically possible. <laughs> Dude, they uh, might have. They field. might have. Do you think they they got Tom Hanks to play that role just based off of his run? Because that run is fucking electric. Forrest Gump runs like every strength coach has tried to get me to run, which is like a fucking robot, <laughs> yeah, and it pisses me off. Taking a running okay. class or something. If there's one thing dude, I get upset with is people. Those knees. Go here, and this is how you do it. Run. Up. Knee up. Well, yeah, it's because that's how you're supposed to run, Jason. If you want to get faster, go fucking run. That, it's that simple. Go fucking run. You'll figure out the optimal way to strike your foot if you're fucking worth a shit as an athlete. You don't need to fucking... <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, it's fucking so stupid. If you, want, if you want to do the last question? Would you rather have muffins for hands or sweat mayo? Um... I'd rather still have muffins for hands. I cannot. You make me sweat mayo. I'm going to fucking be throwing up my entire life. I mean, it's 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 an easy one. Sweat mayo. I need to post my thumbs. God, dude. You got to grab things. What the fuck are you going to do with muffins for hands? Except eat them. Fuck. You're right. I just can't buy into mayo. Sweating mayo. Just stay in the AC, baby. Oh, my God. Then you don't sweat. I sweat in the AC, too. That's a good point. That does it for No Dumb Questions. And uh, shout out to Ashok for uh, getting us through that one. All right. Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. Numero uno. And yeah. uh, NFL schedules have just been released. And they are here. Uh, and we have a special discount just for the 92 percenters, baby. Oh, <laughs> what is it, Trev? For a very limited time, get 15% off any NFL ticket. That's right. 15% off any NFL tickets. That's Doesn't matter if about. you're a first-time buyer or not. And um, mm. I'll tell you what, some good games, <laughs> both in Kansas City and in Philadelphia. Jason, if there's any game on the schedule, if uh, no one's been to the link before, what game do you think they should go to? Well, if they haven't been to the link before, they should get any game because, you know, it's the link. And that's fair. Yeah, It's, it's, a, it's a good place to go watch a game. But uh, in particular, we've talked about before, I'm a big fan of holiday games. I like the NFL playing on holidays. And we got a Christmas game at the link. They must have so, heard you saying this. They must hey, have heard you saying this. I, I don't think it's a coincidence. The NFL script writers have been paying attention to new heights. All right now. All right now, Roger. Yep. So, you know. Christmas Day, maybe see some snowballs at Santa Claus, but at the very least, you're going to catch a late in-division game between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. So make sure you check that one out. Just click, right just click the special link in the description, sign in, and the 15% discount will be auto-applied to your account. Damn, it doesn't matter easy. if you've purchased SeatGeek tickets before or not. Just click the link in the description and save some money. All right, It's now. that easy. Before we keep going, we got to shout out our partner for this episode. Who's that? Fireball. Oh, oh, Fireball takes any event to the next level. Like winning the big game, getting Ooh. drafted, or even interviewing your own head coach. I was not drunk for that. I was not drunk for that. Do yeah. not put that on me, Fireball. We definitely did not. Andy, but I do uh, enjoy Fireball. It's great. It's iconic. It has an iconic cinnamon flavor that mm. tastes fire and goes so down tasty. easy, so making tasty. it the ultimate crowd pleaser. That's why it's the number one rated shot in the country. What I really like about the Fireball Shooters is that there's no shot glass needed. You just hey. crack that thing open and knock it back. Jason, you big Fireball guy. Huge, Travis. It's the number one shot in the country for a reason. Knew it. You can get Fireball wherever you purchase your fine spirits.
Let's move on to uh, some bold topics to wrap up this week in the NFL's offseason. Recap big news from last week. The official 2023 NFL schedule was released for all 32 teams. It's quite the the big deal now. It's uh, usually it, it, it used to just come out and everybody else looked at it and be like, all right, cool. This is what the schedule is. Now they like tease all the primetime games. I know we were part of the uh, the overseas playing in Germany, revealing that game against the Dolphins. And now Tyreek Hill will not be scoring any touchdowns in Arrowhead anytime soon. Yeah. So the uh, the 2023 NFL schedule was released. Um, what do you think of the schedule release being such a big deal now? Do you think it's over the top? Things a little too much? You like it? You no. hate it? You like? Well, I, think I mean, it it's fun. not for. I think it was fun. Yeah. I mean, it's. I think the schedule release uh, as a whole is awesome for the fans because they get. To, See what games are going to, when they're going to them, especially like the way ones. For us, we get to see when our bye week is, which is a big deal. Yep. That's uh, Thursday night games. Is that the first thing you do? Like, you look at all your... I look for a bye week and Thursday night game right away to see when I'm going to get the big breaks. I like that. From like workloads. Outside of that, you know, I'm going to play all the teams when we play them. So do you circle any games? Do you circle any games? Not a circle. I don't even print it out. That's a good point. I always look at, I mentioned this earlier uh, on an episode, I always look at uh, turf games. We got four of them this year. Not a bad year. That's a small amount of turf. Yeah, it's pretty good. I can, uh, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. And then I look at, like you said, we got two Thursday night games, actually, because they gave us the season opener. And then six weeks later, we play Denver on Thursday night. So. Ooh. Yeah. The old Broncos. And then. Four weeks after that, we uh, have our bye. After Germany. I hey. Might have to just stay in Germany during Oktoberfest. <laughs> know what I'm saying? I do. You know what I'm saying? The Eagles coaxed my wife into uh, getting a Kansas City Chiefs sock and putting peanut butter in it and getting Baloo to chew it up. Well, that's not nice. I know Baloo. I know. Baloo wouldn't do that if there was no peanut butter on there. It's true. He wouldn't. It's messed up, Kai. It's messed up right there. That ain't right. This is dog mentality. It's dog, yeah. Because you guys are forever the underdog. No, dog mentality. Oh, dog. dog mentality is Nick's thing. It actually is a do-, do you know why he says dog mentality? No, why? Because when he was a kid, his, uh, I think it was his uncle. I think his uncle had a bunch of hunting dogs. And he would take him to go hunt rabbits. And they would release the cage. And every time he released the cage... No matter how them dogs' days was going, they were hunting them rabbits. They were ready to go. A dog gonna hunt. That's why it's dog mentality. So just be ready, essentially. A dog gonna hunt. Yeah, man. A bunch of adorable pooches. Oh, my gosh. The, Kylie could have done any team? No, they asked her. So we do all – in the video, it's all – The whole schedule. The teams. Yeah, it's all the teams that we play. So they specifically had her do the Kansas City Chiefs. This is – wow. Okay. This wasn't specific to the Chiefs, I just want to say. It's just, you know, just happened to un- unfold All right, that way. Kai, it's on. The war has started. And the uh, Chiefs also released a video on their uh, on their platform, and it had a new Heights mention. The old new news. <laughs> Very fitting as you wear the shirt. You see, we like to keep it hey, nice yo. and cordial. We don't like to hand uh, little uh, stuffed animals or socks to dogs and watch the dogs tear them up. It's whatever, you know. It's, it's whatever. Do what you got to do, you know. Um, Titans, Titans may have put out the best video of all, and that's asking people down on Broadway <laughs> what teams the Tennessee Titans were going to be playing, and um, multiple people, multiple people butched the entire league uh, just just looking at logos and not knowing what logo uh, was what team or what city. Numerous people thought the uh, the Indianapolis Colts were the Dallas Cowboys. Multiple people saw the horseshoe of the Colts logo and said, "Oh, that's that's the Cowboys." <laughs> Chase, I'm still upset that you think that those guys that teach wall drills are fucking doing a goddamn thing. I don't know how the fuck you can do those drills and feel at all like it's making you better. Because I'm a runner, Jason. I run too. Not that's like this. Offensive that you would say. You know, and I'm not like this. It's helped me out in my career. Really, it's helped make you faster yeah. and a better yeah. runner. Work on knee drive, knee drive, and uh, and posterior 
working my glutes and hamstrings into the ground. I don't even want to do this. This is fucking so stupid. What is wrong? Because they don't. I, he's lying. He's blatantly lying just to fucking get me mad. Dude, it's working that knee drive. I actually think knee drive can help. <laughs> That's what it's doing. Thank you for that, Jason, man. That just made my entire week, man. I guess the Titans video is almost as funny as Travis Kelsey named head coach. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's what I look like? <laughs> <laughs> At least I knew some of them. All right. Let's talk at a chief schedule. Most primetime games with six. All right now. Mahomes versus Rodgers for the first time ever in week four. That's crazy that Mahomes and Rodgers have not ever we faced off. Yeah, we played Green Bay a few times with uh, Patty Mahomes as our QB, and unfortunately. He was out of, out Rogers, of the lineup? Rodgers was either banged up. Uh, I think he missed the last time we played. It was COVID protocol. Or something happened with his... We don't uh, have to revisit. Yeah, we don't yeah. have to go back down the I road. Think I, know, I think we know what you're yep. talking about. So that happened. But uh, yeah, obviously, um, I played against Aaron. Never beat him when he was back there. So it's. Uh, I think it'll be a fun fun game. Then you guys got week nine, Germany. You guys are playing the Dolphins. That's going to be fun. Frankfurt, baby. Are you excited? Yeah. Do you like uh, international games? I love them, man. I love them. That's what I like. I like a lot I, of people say they don't like playing international games. I think they're a lot of fun. Anything that changes you know what i mean the scene i like i like playing in a way stadium just because i like getting out of kansas city because during the season you just don't get free time to be able to go see another city or another like arena outside of game day um so i like the away games and this one's going to be a blast this one's going to be a blast we're going the one thing that i would say is not good about this is that it's a home game that's in germany so you guys are missing out on an arrowhead game but we already have like this year we are night we had nine home games this year because of the 17th game got added last year. Yeah, so, so you have eight. We still have eight home games. Yeah, but you would have had nine. That's a good point. Well, we better just, you know what I mean, win so that we get, you know, home field advantage. And we have three. Who do you, well, you think is going to have home field advantage? We played in London, let me tell you. Might have been Jacksonville's home game, but Eagles fans, they showed up. Is that right? That is right. I um I don't know. I don't know what Germany has to, has to offer you know, last year. What what teams did Germans go for? What did Germans Germans like? Beer, f- sausages, sausages. Boo! They might like the barbecue. So if they like beer, Milwaukee is known for beer. So maybe they're Packers fans. Sausages. What city's known for sausages? Not Miami, right? Mm, no. Man, you guys are known for barbecue, problem. which is kind of like a sausage. Yeah. I don't know. Chicago. Dude, Chicago. Chicago dogs. Do you guys have a big German population in Kansas City? I do not believe. Are there any there beer is. gardens or anything? Um, No. Not that I know of. You guys, a lot of, do you guys have any German players? No. No German players. We got a Greek player. You got a Greek freak? Yeah. What position? George Karloftis. Oh, that's right. The DN for Purdue. Purdue, Perdon. He's is he from Greece or he's just Greek? No, no, from Greece. Family, family Greece? from Greece for sure. So he's first first generation immigrant. What's uh, what's his? Uh, I believe I believe he might have even been born over there and then came to the states, in at some point. Huh? What? Uh? What? Where in Greece? Athens. All right. I will say was, this. Uh, I will say this. Okay, the uh, we got a guy uh, Blaine Gabbert. Uh, quarterback, the he was the backup quarterback in Tampa last Blake year. Blake Gabbard is your is your back quarter backup quarterback. Yeah, right now he's uh he's in the building. Number two. Whoa. Right now he's in was the he building. Number, was, um, he wasn't on your guys' team last year. I'm not he? sure. I'm not sure if it's listed as number two, number three. I know that he yeah, uh, he just yeah, got in. Yeah. So you guys just signed him when Chad retired. Yeah. Got um, it. And he played he played in Germany last year and said it was. Off, he was, said it was awesome. He they, said the they, fans were they, amaz, yeah. they were rowdy. Apparently, they got the, into it. The, the Germans are big uh, American football fans. Yeah. Well, are you looking for? Are you going to do anything in Germany? I think I might host a chug off. A chug off. Yeah, I think that'd be sweet to really get it, get the get the fan engagement going out like there with in a Germany. Stein, like a big Stein, you got to down the whole thing. Down the whole thing. Yeah, it might do it. Are you going to participate in the chug off? Um, I don't think I should drink before the game. But we'll see. I mean, when do you guys go down? If you go down early in the week. I don't think we're going down early. I think we'll just probably get Friday night. 
We'll probably what? leave. We'll probably leave Thursday night. Get in Friday morning. Have a good Friday practice. Um, and then, yeah, and then maybe get just like an afternoon off. Well, you guys are playing the Dolphins, and Tyree Kill was uh, talking a lot on Twitter about coming back to Arrowhead. Obviously, that's not happening. Chris Jones versus Tyreek on Twitter, though, had a nice little back and forth. Back and forth, apparently. Yeah. No, uh, Chris let him know he ain't going to score an Arrowhead anytime soon. Yeah, I don't know what to say to it. Yeah, we could just... just I have no nothing to say either. Christmas Day, you guys are playing the Raiders. <laughs> yep. Is that a home game or an away game? Christmas Day, baby. Let's go. I um no idea. Don't know. No idea. I'm Las Vegas. If it's in Las Vegas, um, that'd be pretty sweet. Christmas what are you in Las get, Vegas. What are you gonna get your buddy McDaniel for Josh McDaniel for his uh, birthday? Don't do this. Don't do this. All right. If Josh McDaniels walks in right now, I could shake his hand and I say, hey, Coach McDaniels, how you doing? Because I know him <laughs> and I know what he looks like. That picture was ridiculous. I can barely it's a home see game. it. It's a home I day. Do love Christmas, Christmas in Kansas games. City again? Let's go. Christmas Day. Christmas games. I'm pretty is sure I'm 2-0 oh on Christmas in two Kansas and oh City. On Christmas. Yeah, I'm 2-0 oh on Christmas in Kansas City. You're Santa Claus for the Chiefs fans. I think that's Coach Reed. I'm just like a really important elf. I'm like you're an elf. I'm like buddy. Are you an elf or a reindeer? Um, would you rather be an elf or a reindeer? How about that? How about that? No dumb question. Would you rather be an elf or a reindeer? There's more elves. Yeah, and they're a lot less well known. Yeah, no. It seems like those things kind of like you know are not that rare. You know what I mean, yeah. Santa's just got at a least the reindeer's litter. got like sweet names. Yeah, and, and, they're, and it seems like they're the magical ones are rare. There's only a few of them. Yeah, if you're lucky enough to be Rudolph, you're a, you're a unicorn basically. But you lack a little you know, confidence, but you are who, awesome. Those elves grow on it's trees, apparently. That's it. <laughs> it's got, Santa's got, got a litter of elf. <laughs> he's got the elf he's got real life minions, man. That he pays in sugar or something. Yeah. No. That'll be a fun one. That'll be a fun one. Anytime the Raiders come to Arrowhead, man, it is a uh, it's a doozy, and the games are rocking. So can't wait for Christmas Day already. It's gonna have to circle that one. And then you guys are New Year's Eve against the Bengals in man. We always get Burrowhead. them late in this. We always get them <laughs> late in the season, man. We get them within the last like month of the season. Oh, the every Cincinnati season. mayor put out another video. Let's yeah. take a look. My guy Orlando Brown got in on this one. It's actually a pretty good bit. The Bengals play the Chiefs week 17. And I've got nothing else to add. And cut. How was that? Yeah, I think that was better than the last time. Hey, there we go. I like it. The Cincinnati mayor, Mayor uh, Aftab. He's, he's showing off right. his he's he's showing it off. We got to get him on the pod. He's showing it off. Nah, he's a he's a good sport about it, man. He's a good sport. And shout out to OB for doing it too, man. Guys, it's finally here. It's officially off season workout time, so you know I'm taking my AG1 by Athletic Greens every single day. There's no way, Jason, you're taking greens every single day. You're a big greens guy? I'm a big greens guy, but this is way more than just your basic greens, Travis. It's like nine products in one. Just one serving of AG1 covers all my nutritional basis and long-term gut health with over 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source high-quality ingredients. It's pretty impressive how you said all that. Yeah. Well, if you're listening to this show and are also trying to get back into playing shape like Jason and I are, Oof. you're in luck because Athletic Greens is giving you guys an incredible deal with five free travel packs and one free year supply of vitamin D. Hey. Everybody knows how important that vitamin D is. Ooh, got to get the vitamin D up. Like Travis Not just right said, now. Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. This is their best offer yet, ladies and gentlemen. You can only get it at athleticgreens.com slash new heights. Hey, That's athleticgreens.com slash new heights. All right, we need to talk about one of our sponsors that you probably see us drinking during the show, and that's uh, Accelerator Active Energy Drink. Oh, God damn, that's good. If you've been looking for something with zero sugar that gives you sustained energy, that gets the metabolism going, Ooh. and gives you the enhanced focus you need to record a podcast, <laughs> you got to check out Accelerator Active Energy. Jason, what flavor you got over there? 
Oh, I got the orange mango. Mm, I'm sipping on Today. that rocket pop. The rocket pop is always one of my favorite. If you guys like, uh, is rocket pop just cotton candy? I think it's it's got a little bit more something in there, but yeah, okay. it does All taste. Right. It tastes like a very aggressive uh, cotton candy, which I love. Good cotton candy. Hey, man doesn't like sausage. He enjoys a good cotton candy. Give me the sugar. Accelerator Active Energy is available nationwide at Target. All right now. Hey. Yeah. Let's move on to Eagles schedule. Eagles schedule open in New England on Tom Brady Day. How about that, yeah. man? How about that? They're gonna retire the gonna retire the goat in front of all of us. The legend himself. Gonna take him out the pasture. TB twelve <laughs> chill out, man. <laughs> hey, that was uncalled for. Uh, <laughs> nah, man. I mean, honestly. I'm kind of excited about it. Yeah, that's going to be an experience. That's pretty cool, dude. The the potentially the greatest quarterback of all time. I mean, I don't even know if it's worth saying potentially at this point. Yeah, I mean, no, he's he's Pat that Mahomes' right now. career isn't over, but certainly if everybody's played, he's got the hardware. Yeah, to be able to be at the game that he's going to hang him up or be honored for the career that he had in New England. Shoot, that's going to be electric. I was about man. to say, that place in, is going to be In Travis Kelsey's words, it's about to be electric. <laughs> electric. That place is going to be But it also be means the fans are going to be pumped up, so we're going to have to work on a silent count. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to be there for it. We Last time we played New England was uh, 2019, so it's been a minute uh, since we I think I was at we that saw game. Him. We lost that game. I was not at that game. Yeah. It was not a good one for us do you at think, home. Do you but, think uh, away teams play harder if they know it's a special occasion for the home team? Man, I think um, no. Well, I, I think it's the the bigger threat is that it's a distraction for the the home team. I feel like, but with Tom kind of being Who a former is, player, yeah. you know, I don't think it's going to distract the team too much. And obviously, with Bill Belichick as our coach, he ain't going to put up with any distractions. <laughs> I feel like even though the teams have drastically changed from the 2017 team that was in the Super Bowl against us, I still think like New England and the Patriots versus the Eagles, like, you know, Bill's still there. There's still some guys still there. Um, And I certainly feel like for us, I feel like whenever you play like a team that you played in the Super Bowl, there's always like a little bit heightened emotion and energy around it. Heck yeah. The hype is definitely going to be there, especially with – TB12 getting retired. That game is, I can see that game being a very, very electric night uh, in New England for sure. Four days later, though, you have to come to the home opener. Thursday night football, baby. Who do you guys play on that Thursday night? Play Minnesota. Minnesota. Thursday night. Biggest thing about that, they got a new defensive coordinator. Brian Flores is the new guy. So we're going to be – I hate playing new D coordinators or new coaches early, early in the season. Yeah, it's always – Because there's not – you're going off of like tape from – like we're going to be watching tape from, I don't know, when he was at Miami. Like I – like yeah. preseason games. You're gonna, like, yeah, dude. you're going to get a good glimpse of week one and the, a couple of the preseason games. You're going to get a decent understanding, but he's still going to have some stuff in his hip pocket. Because most of most – of, I feel like most of the coaches, they got – I don't want to say the first four weeks kind of already game plan, but – it's pretty close. You're definitely going to have your division game planned, and you're definitely going to have like the first couple games on the on the schedule yeah, game got, planned. Especially if it's a Thursday night game, you got a short turnaround. You're definitely going to yeah. get ahead of the uh, the books. All here. the things they've been excited to release all off season, they're going to release them early in the season, and especially when it's a new coach, it's going to be drastically a lot of new stuff going on. I guess the one caveat is that I think he, I'm pretty sure Flores is a Belichick disciple, so it's a similar kind of defense and they like to run a lot of games and three man games, five man games, Um, not five man games, but five man fronts. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what that looks like. But um, I love Thursday games. We've talked about this Thursday night games. I'm so glad we got two of them. Both of us are big fans of Thursdays because it's limited reps on your body on the front end, because you got to get prepared and recovered from the last game. Yeah. And then you get maximum recovery with the three days after it outside of a bye week. So it ends up being the closest thing to a bye week you're going to see in your schedule. So that's the other thing. Having that that early, I think it's a little bit uh, earlier than you'd want. You'd rather Dude. prefer that they were spaced out a little bit later in the season. But, you know. You're kind of making me uh, regret having the first Thursday night game or the first game of the year because you actually start three days ahead of everybody else in terms of training camp. Um, yeah, you don't necessarily get that short mm-hmm. week. You still, yeah, still gonna have. But a you're full the only team. Schedule. 
But you, you and the team, who do you guys open up with again? Fuck, I can't remember. We open up uh, with the. Damn it! I'm an idiot. Sorry, you guys. But the only reason you guys get two Thursday games because you play the opening game of the year. Everybody else gets one Thursday game, right? Yeah. Is that how that works? Uh, no, you can. They just made the rule this year. You can have more than one Thursday night game. Yeah, they did that for Amazon because they had so many buns matchups. Man, those, right. them, those Thursday night there games were buns. Too. Man, those things there are some of them that were not buns. good. Moving on to a Christmas Day game. You got a Christmas Day game too. We're both playing on Christmas. Versus who's going to be the Grinch and who's going to be Santa? Both divisional games too. Man, that'll be those will be fun ones to watch, especially with Dayball and the Giants uh, showing. You know, dude, we got. You guys have this another is, one of the toughest conferences or t- toughest divisions in the league. That's the way it's looking. I mean, obviously, you know, you never know until you start playing games, but, you know, everything you seems really like know. the teams have only gotten better. Well, there's a lot of familiar faces, so there's not drastic change. So I think the Giants are going to be improved and better. We also, our division is playing a tougher schedule. Our schedule, I think, is the toughest if you go off of wins and losses in the NFL from a year before. Yeah, um, and a lot of that's because we play the AFC East, right? Which we've talked about. I mean, the Packers, Patriots, Bills, and Dolphins. No, Jets, not Packers. Damn it! I was thinking freaking Rogers, and I said Packers. What a yeah. fucking idiot! <laughs> uh, yeah, Jets, Dolphins, uh, uh, Bills, and Patriots. Uh, Patriots. So you know, all of those teams are good. Then the NFC conference we're playing too is really good. And I'm trying to remember which one it is. Oh, it's uh NFC West. So we got San Fran, Seattle, oh, yeah, well, LA, and uh I mean anytime oh you gosh. got San Fran on the schedule, it's gonna be a freaking game. So yeah. Dude, this is the second year we're playing the Giants where we don't play them like at all until late. Both of the games we have against the Giants. December. I think they're like, dude, it's crazy. You probably have Christmas and you have the last game of the year. Yes. That's crazy. So it's like we don't play them until the first game is on at Christmas on at week 17 or week 16, and then we play them again week 18. That's There's such one a game crazy in turnaround. It's literally going to be feeling like you play them back-to-back weeks. Right. Have you ever played it? Like, have you ever, like uh, – we did with the, this year with the Giants. Actually, we played them the last, last game, game of the year, of, and then the I first round of the playoffs. That. For us, it was they had, they played Minnesota in between, but uh, and we were resting the last game of the year, so it wasn't. Oh wait, we weren't resting. We were playing there. They were resting. We had to win that game. That's what it was. So we didn't play their starters. Yeah. Well, let's move on then. Uh, Dolphins at Eagles, Week Seven. Uh, two of verse Hurts, the uh, former uh, college teammates. Hey. I'm sure that'll be a fun one that both of them have circled. First time they have gone up against uh, – God damn, you're asking the wrong guy. At Eagles. There we go, baby. Hey, oh, there we go. Love seeing that. Dude, you know what else is a hot take on this? What's that? Their new defensive coordinator was a defensive analyst in our building last year. Vic Fangio is the defensive coordinator, and he was in on a lot of our offensive meetings and meetings throughout the year. So, damn. so he's about to have you guys scheme the fuck up. He's going to try to. <laughs> but what Vic doesn't know is we're coming at you, too. Ooh, it's on. But, yeah, you guys have the hardest uh, SOS, strength of schedule, strength of schedule. based on uh, team's win percentage from last year. And that's what we had going into the season. The uh, AFC West wasn't too hey. hot last year in terms of yeah, the you, wins and losses. Do you think the losses, AFC West is going to bounce back this year? 1,000%. What do you think? Yep. 1,000%, yeah. Who's going to finish second in the division if you guys finish first? Dude, you're not doing this to me. No, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not educated enough. I don't know. Well, it's, I mean, it's between either the Chargers. I'm going to say the Chargers. Russell Wilson. I'm going to say or, the Chargers. The Chargers got a really good wide receiver for Herbert. Is that just because you know who their coach is? <laughs> you fucking guy. Fuck! <laughs> I can't say anything about it either because it's fucking on everywhere. I mean, I didn't know. Uh, Josh McDaniels did not look like Josh McDaniels. That We've you. talked about that. We've talked about it. I'm sorry again, Josh. The biggest news from the schedule release is that, uh, yeah, Donna Kelsey's Facebook is uh, maybe not the source for breaking NFL news that, uh, yeah. that we thought it was when she uh, when she posted that that comment. Well, listen, mom I don't got even excited. Think- mom got excited. She saw mom something. got excited. She she saw some dirt online and she decided to post it to her Facebook. Yeah. And she wanted- you know 
she gets excited. She's into football. Yeah. She's a football can't be, mom. Can't be upset at it. And it did come from a kind of trusted source that also deleted. <laughs> what was that? Thorth. <laughs> it came from a, a kind of a trusted source from uh, the Kansas City Star. From what she says, and the star deleted it. But who yeah, knows? I mean, mom, everybody makes mistakes. I've had to delete some stuff on Twitter before and don't really yeah. post on Facebook anymore well i guess i do yeah but. listen if I, I think just as a bar a, a good bar don't get any news from facebook i think that's kind of <laughs> it's just it's be honest point. that's not a it's not, it's not the not best a, search engine yeah especially if it's from a boomer like mom you know it's not you know where you want to be looking <laughs> shout out to mama kels hall of fame mama kels coming off of hall mother's of day fame, mama Hall of Fame Mama. Kelsey Bowl 2 will be happening officially week 11th. Monday night football, baby. Yeah. Both teams coming off a bye. Yeah. Are we going to hang out we're during the bye be, week? We're going to be pretty well rested. Um, I, Even though we're going to play each other the following week, are we going to hang out during the bye week? I'm down. I'm game. I usually, what do, what I you usually do? find my way to Philly on the bye week just to come see you and the girls. Yeah, or, or I go watch you guys play, but obviously neither of us are playing. So Yeah. I might still be in Germany. I don't know. Oh, that's right. They always time up international games. Game. Yes. Dude, if you stay in Germany, should we do New Heights in Germany? <sighs> New Heights International in podcast? Damn, dude. That'd be crazy. You think we got any German followers? I guess. You think there are any some. German 92 percenters? We can get them up. All we got to do is start drinking beer and eating sausages. We've been over this. Well, we'll get German far I'll leave the sausage second. up to you, and I'll drink as much Travis, beer as You don't eat sausage? Get. I'll do like a like a sausage patty. Bratwurst? I'll do like a patty, like in the morning, like a breakfast sausage. You don't do any tubular-shaped like meats? Sausage. I'll do sausage on like a pizza. You know what I'm saying? Like Travis. Pepperoni and sausage pizza. I'll do you sausage do, you and like won't a eat a kielbasa. I'll do some like uh, bolognese. You won't eat like a hot I, dog um, sandwich, like a hot dog. I'm fucking out, Jason. I'm out. What? I'm out, dude. What is it? How does it get to What's that? A hot How dog? does it get to that Listen, form? How does it get to that form? I've actually seen it. It's pretty gross. It's disgusting. I don't even yeah. want to see it. I don't want to see well, it because I do enjoy a good ballpark dog. With just ketchup on. Well, then what are we talking about? Because I can't do spice. It's, uh, I don't know. I've been eating a ballpark hot dogs since a kid, but I can't. So do you're in on spicy. hot dogs. I'm not even in on hot dogs you're, without being. You're hammered. in on the all beef. I got to be hammered. What um? Do well, you I, not? I fucking hate that you're antagonizing me right now. I'm not antagonizing. No, you're it just blows my mind. Wrong, uh, wrong. I n word. <laughs> antagonizing is a n, isn't it? <laughs> is it? Fuck. Um, is it the sh so you'll eat it in patty form, but not the tubular form? Is there a reason why you won't eat it in the tubular form? Uh, how does it get in the tube? It's a, it's called a casing. That's disgusting. So it's just the casing part. It's not the it's shape of it, up, man. <laughs> I know what you're getting to. Well, I'm just saying you don't like guy. white condiments, and now you all of a sudden don't like tubular shaped meats. <laughs> everybody, um, yeah, everybody, you know what? Well. Yeah, that would do it. Where are you? What on popsicles? Love popsicles. So it's not the shape. What even tubular shaped popsicles? I don't know. Like uh, the push and pops. Those were delicious. Yeah, I fucks with the push and pops. It's ice cream. How can you? How can you hate it's on? It's not ice cream. It's popsicle. Yeah, popsicle. Frozen, frozen sugar water. I just blows my mind that you don't like sauce. Even if you cut it up, like would you cut it up and eat it? It's just the casing. You just don't like the casing. Yeah, this the casing, the the bite into the casing, and that's juicy and like fuck. Ah. You're making my mouth water right now. Uh, what about uh, chorizo? No, I'm out on that shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I can't do chorizo, dude. <laughs> Man, well, it's good for your heart. One thing is you're you're you you're avoiding probably the worst meat you can eat cardiovascularly speaking, but. <laughs> From a taste perspective, you're avoiding the best meats, maybe. I love sausages. Oh. Sometimes I don't even chew them. I just swallow them right down my gullet. <laughs> we can come back to tubular meats another time or, <laughs> or on the internet if we want to. But we're going to move on to, we got out of the house. Yee! That's right. We went to the 76ers last home game. 
Unfortunately, and, and the way we wanted it to, uh, but it was a fun experience. And we sat honestly, next to, yeah, we sat next to some some cool cats, right? Got Quest Love, Quest Love, obviously, and then uh, saw my guy Michael Rubin. Name dropping, yeah, you already know, dogs. Donovan Mitchell was sitting a couple seats down. Shout out to the Cavs. Um, yeah, no, I'm not sure if I'm bad luck or if you're bad luck in this scenario because well, I went to two games and they lost both of them. I've been one of them. I rang the bell for, and then they got their <sighs> bell rung. So I think it's just a bad. Just stay away from bells and ringing. And- I've only been to one playoff game where in the NBA where the team that I was rooting for won the game. Wow! But it was a it was a hell of a game. LeBron James. Was it a Cavs game? Yeah. yeah. LeBron James against the uh, Toronto Raptors. Ooh. Hit a little fadeaway runner off the glass to win it. It was electric. Absolutely electric. And then the city was on one after that. But, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I think you might just have to get banned from NBA playoff games in Philly, dude. It's not a bad idea. Either that or just to go, go to all of them and then really, I mean, really it test didn't it. Ma- you got to break the know, streak. You got to break the streak. Yeah, I think if I just keep going, eventually they'll win. And then it's like, hey, I'm not the mush. You know, I'm not the uh, the guy who's the reason, you know. Yeah. I mean, they did just lose in Boston for game seven. So, I, And I wasn't at that game. Yeah. But. Would have blamed somebody else. I might have yeah. had something to do with the, uh, the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah. So I guess we should tell them that, you know, we <laughs> – we were sitting there, and all of a sudden, Travis decided to order chicken fingers, which I was excited about. We're in Philly. We gotta. We're in any Philly arena. We gotta get some chicken peats. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, we weren't gonna get hot dogs, so we got chicken fingers. <laughs> yeah, big chicken fingers. Big, big chicken tender, tender. Guy. Dude, they gave us honey mustard. Did you dip it in honey mustard? No, you don't remember me taking your barbecue sauce. They gave us one honey mustard, uh, one barbecue sauce, and I stole your. That's barbecue why I sauce. didn't have any barbecue sauce. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him watching the game. The no, uh, there was a there was a foul there was not a foul ball there was a there was a ball that uh, went out of bounds out of bounds and it uh, it made its way over to the corner that we were sitting in and of course me being the savvy and very alert player that I am I was the first one to get to it grabbed it that's right acted like I was going to take a shot kind of gave it a little spin and uh, yeah when I handed that thing back to the ref I realized how much chicken grease was actually on my hand and what <laughs> how much chicken grease was now on the foot on the basketball um, and unfortunately the Sixers didn't look too great after that and uh, yeah so I might have greased up you might have caused I might have greased up that thing and uh because guys were missing we're gonna layups. We're going to have to ask Joel. Guys were, we're missing gonna have to ask layups. Joel if he felt the chicken grease on it. Guys were missing threes. It didn't it go was too both well. teams. It was There was a teams. lot of poor basketball <laughs> after the chicken grease a incident. Lot of, a lot of turnovers. I think it was clearly making a difference. So, uh, and you know what? You guys can blame me all you want, but you, no one more to blame than Pete himself because that, that chicken Ooh. was greasy. Chicken and I love it. Saying. I love it greasy, but... Did you? It's kind of crazy that they greasy without them wings be, or them uh, tendies being greasy. It's kind of crazy they just hand the ball back in. Like how many times has that happened where somebody's been eating buttered popcorn and then all of a sudden they got it all over the ball and it just goes into play like they don't it's not check talked it or about nothing? enough. It's not talked about right? enough. How how often has that made a difference? Yeah, that's a good question. That ball was greased up. Either way, we got to see firsthand the level of the most talented individuals on the planet, which are NBA players. Got to see it live right on the court. And I got to say, I mean, what? They're the best athletes in the world. They're the best athletes in the world. Who it's really, who really like blew your mind? Uh, Maxi. Maxi. Quick as roll. lightning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You know what? Actually, like really dude, PJ Tucker. I don't think I watched him sit there in warmups and shoot threes. I don't think he missed. Like he just made every single one. It's insane. How good these guys are at shooting the ball. Yeah. Outside of getting contested shots or anything like that, like open, just like three pointer. They, I mean, it's it's nuts. Yeah. Especially if they start to get in rhythm. Man. Yeah. In the same spot, <laughs> draining them. Yeah. It's like me in the driveway. Yeah. Or me in the pool. Yeah. I'm a great pool basketball player. Yeah. Cause you can splash. Outstanding. Use the, I mean, use the water to your, as your weapon. I'm I'm semi aquatic. I got a lot of I got basically a, a layer of blubber on me, so I kind of act like you a walrus. Flo- you got a flotation device. Yeah, it, it like it, it works to my advantage. You got for that sure. inner tube around the waist. It's just buoyancy, <laughs> just plain buoyancy. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Boy, it's dense. Hey, man. I've always been. I mean, if the, if pool basketball was an Olympic event, I might be in it. Just letting you know. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> playoff atmosphere, though, NBA versus NFL. What games are more electric? Got to go NFL. I mean, yeah. There's less NFL. games, I, so people get more fired up for the – the one game that they get to see. I feel like there's one caveat, like at the end of NBA games, if it's close, I feel like it's unbelievably electric the same way the NFL game is. I just, I don't know. It feels like it's more intimate in the NBA. Like you're closer to the players. So you can like say something that like, that motherfucker is definitely going to hear that. He ain't like, yeah, yeah. you shout something. He's going to hear it. You better be, better be careful what you're shouting. But no, I think, uh, I just think NFL games, there's the whole tailgating portion. There's like a whole, it's, it's just in general, the games are more electric, including the playoff games. Yeah. One, 100%. And I mean, arguably the best athletes in the world. Yeah, I guess the only time I've experienced NFL playoff games is at Arrowhead. It's the only game I've been to. Well, obviously outside of our own, Yeah, but I'm on the field. I'm not in the stands. No, nah, but you feel it. You feel it. You feel how electric it is. Hey, Arrowhead's electric now. Not right now. The link is popping, though, man. I'll t- I will say this, though. I thoroughly enjoy being in a Philadelphia stadium during playoffs or during some sort of meaningful game. So whether it's a divisional game or if it's just like uh, two of the top teams in the conference or two of the top teams in the league, Philly fans, man, they never disappoint. They are always at the edge of their seat telling the refs, fuck you, telling the other teams, fuck you. And it's just I on it when when it was a point in the fourth quarter where the refs made like a very weird recall of like free throws. I forget the exact scenario because I was drinking beer the entire time. But yeah, Joel shot two, made them, but then they made Maxi go and shoot them. There was something weird like yeah, that like, in Game Six. And, uh, and I think Maxi still man, made them. When I t- was, I weird... tell you the the entire stadium turned on the refs right then and there because it really oh, yeah. did deflate like the momentum that was going on but that place got rowdy and i loved every bit of being in that being in that stadium or that arena I mean, listen i'm biased i think philadelphia is the greatest sports city in the united states it's unbelievable i mean i think chiefs got the best uh best football fans for sure what about their basketball fans yep that's where you got us <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago Trav, as you know, Not right now. we were uh, debating what is the greatest trophy in all the sports. And the two that we mentioned were the Lombardi Trophy and the Stanley Cup Trophy. This is true. Lord Stanley. Well, no. um, it turns out that somebody was a little upset that they weren't included on that list. And that somebody is Larry. That's right. The Larry O'Brien Trophy Ooh, submitted NBA. his own resume as to why he... I don't know if I'm – we'll call it a he uh, – is the number one trophy in all of sports. And uh, it's right here in front of me. Stop it. I'm, I'm not making this up. This Stop was a it. full submission by Larry himself. The NBA. Pictures. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. It says here. You have the Larry O'Brien trophy at your house right now? Well, hold on. Hold on. That has not been revealed yet, Travis. Wait. Wait. Hold your horses. All right. <laughs> It says right here, as the Larry O'Brien Championship Trophy, I am the NBA's ultimate prize, representing the highest level of athletic achievement and teamwork. We know that I agree with that. I stand tall at over two (laughs) feet and weigh in at a hefty 30 pounds, making me the most formidable. 30 pounds? That's a a mini golden doula right there. That is a, I mean, 30 pounds is pretty, that's a. 30 that's thick, pounds? That's a thick boy. That's a thick boy. <laughs> so how big you know of I mean? a boy are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making me one of the most formidable trophies in sports, known around the world for my unique design and my shiny gold good looks. It is unique. We'll get back to you how unique it is, but go ahead. It also lists uh, a level of achievements and experiences that Larry has uh endured from 1977 to this present moment. He was obviously awarded to Michael Jordan a whopping six times, Knew it. solidifying his status as the ultimate symbol of basketball excellence. Accompanied the Los Angeles Lakers during their dominant three-peat that we are all familiar with from 2000 Shaq to 2002 Kobe. with Shaq and Kobe. Accompanied LeBron James as he brought the long-awaited championship glory home to our hometown, the Cleveland Cavaliers, ending a 52-year championship drought. 
I was at the parade. I was at the parade. And it also celebrated the San Antonio Spurs era of sustained success, led by the one and only Greg Popovich, as they won five championships between 1999 and 2014. Damn. So Larry has seen a lot, and Larry felt a little bit uh, upset that he was left out of the greatest trophies bit that we did. Yeah. So not only did he submit this wonderful resume, he submitted himself. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the NBA championship trophy, the Larry O'Brien trophy. Woo! This is crazy. Can I just take this off? I don't know. Am I allowed to just touch this with my bare hands? Great. Fuck it. You yes. better. You better. This is crazy. God, Dude. Nice. Got the Tiffany blue. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Little, yep. Sorry. Little yeah, jacket. Like- what is that? The jacket? The Larry O'Brien jacket? Oh, my God. Dude, this is heavier than a mini golden mini golden Dude, Let me play that 30 right now. pounds. Oh my gosh. That thing is Look enormous. Big it is. It's big the ball is bigger than my head. Is this a is this an actual representation of a basketball? I don't even know if I can get this whole thing in the shot. Oh my I god. Up. This guy Dude, has the trophy in his hand. Look at how big this is. This is ridiculous. How did you even get that? That thing looks beautiful. Oh, dude. I'll tell you did what. Did you know? Did you know that all of the Larry's games, onto something? Did you guys know that all the games in the series are engraved? Are engraved on this? Nope, I did not know that. It's that's, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. I didn't know that thing was that big. I feel like whenever yeah. I saw Jor- it, it, I whenever I saw pictures of it in Jordan's hands and Kobe's hands, it doesn't look that big. It's monstrous. It Might have been. I gotta MVP. say too, as I think the the knock. One of the knocks on the Larry O'Brien trophy is that it looks like the shot is being missed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, for sure. When you see it in person, I, I think it's, it's going in. It's definitely a brick. What? No, 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 no. There's space. <laughs> it, it, if it's coming at this angle. Oh, yeah. yeah you're, well, it all depends on the trajectory of the shot. But, yeah, it no, does. I hear It's you. hard to tell. Um, like, I, I mean, you. obviously, uh, you know, Steph Curry shooting that thing. That's going in. That <laughs> thing uh, going in. All right, now. Yeah. Uh, well. You know, Shaquille O'Neal shooting a free throw. I ain't going to say Popovich. I got to say. I got to say. the pop. Hack shack. I got to admit, Larry O'Brien trophy up until this moment was not high on my list. That of thing is. Trophies. After seeing the heft and size of this thing. That thing is enormous. Because I think this is what people don't realize. They see it on TV after the championship. There's like seven footers whole thing. <laughs> that's you know just I mean? giant. It looks like a normal size yeah, trophy. Yeah. No, that's crazy. 30 pounds. Yeah. Over two feet. Yeah. Golly, that thing is enormous. Yeah, this thing is bigger than a than a mini golden doodle. Give it a nice I, give I it a nice knock. Also, is that thing hollow or is it solid? Ah, is that dude, thing? I don't even know if I'm allowed do to it. do that. Do it. I, th- I believe it's hyper. It's in your house. You can do whatever you want. I it, 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 it's it's there it's 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 hollow, but nice. I gotta say it's sturdy. <laughs> it's got a sturdy like knock to it. It's got some heftiness to it too. Yeah, Thirty like fucking this, pounds. Like, like you could make. I feel like some, the Stanley Cup is like around 30, 35 pounds somewhere in there. Like then that thing it? is like three feet. Yeah. Yeah. Then this thing's more solid than that if it's chugging in at the same weight. Damn. Well, either way, uh, this is an incredible trophy. Oh my gosh! I gotta say, I'll give it up I, to you, Larry. You I, got I, a I point. Say, you got a point. I think this might be. I can't say this. No, nothing beats the Stanley Cup. Well, no, I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna say. You could say that. It's all right. We gotta it's we right. gotta step our I feel game. Like up. I'm gonna get crushed as a football player. I think the one knock the one knock on it, the one knock on it, you cannot I drink. Held the Lombardi you cannot and, drink out of it or drink from oh, it you or could, you could definitely your your little Lombardi luge. You can't lose that. You look at this. Look at this backside nope. of this basket. No you way. You could go right down there. You could nope. do that. You could get that no done. No way. I'm telling you. No I'm way. Looking right at nope, it. you're forcing it. Nope. It's not a luge anymore. It's not a luge. Nope. You can only you, luge off of one trophy, and that's the Lombardi. There's a big base to it, though, so you could all play flip cup on it if you wanted. <laughs> Lomb- Larry O'Brien flip cup. Let's go. Um. Yeah, I think after I've held the Lombardi trophy. That right now. This is a more impressive size, weight. And I've always been more of a gold guy myself. I like gold. Oh, that guy likes gold. Either way, Larry, I know great there's, submission. There's no better I'm feeling than this thing. I'm, I'm actually the moving Lombardi you trophy. up in our list. Are you moving them up after this? No. No? Nope. Are you just saying that because you're upset they didn't come to your house? 
I know. <laughs> Why didn't they come to my house? You don't even like basketball. Travis, Travis, it's not like the know, Sixers, you know what I mean, first are all, in the I've NBA on, finals anymore. I'm with Larry. This is the epitome of athleticism right here because basketball players can clearly <laughs> play football. We've been this over that. Ridiculous. We've been down that argument. Look at how beautiful it is. That thing is nice, man. I'm kind of. I'm actually pretty jealous that they came to your house and not mine. Well, they, I, I mean, I think it's obvious they didn't come to your house. You just spiked the Lombardi Trophy in front of forty thousand people <laughs> yeah, at the no. Kelsey Jam. Yeah, and, and you're pouring beer Don't down the do side this. of it. Yeah, they're not well, going to trust you just at the Travis Kelsey household. Erroneous, erroneous on all accounts. Yeah, I'm just listing facts. This is ridiculous. You if that's the reason the NBA, trophy. if that's the reason NBA, this is that well, hurts my feelings. I got because I once had very, dreams very to play in your league. Jason didn't even. Jason didn't even watch you guys. I dreamed I could play in the NBA. I just was. <laughs> I knew that that was an unattainable <laughs> dream because I couldn't beat you in the backyard. If I can't beat my own brother in the backyard, I'm probably not going to the NBA. <laughs> you never had a single hey. second of a dream that you yes, were. Yes, I did. I wanted to be NBA. Dennis Rodman. I wanted to be Dennis Rodman. Lockdown D, hustle, ball, rebound machine. That was my. That was how I was going to make it. And. Just never, you never, never even really play community or rec. You didn't even play in the rec. I mean, I knew that it wasn't going to happen. You would, it would gym class, you would go play frisbee or something. Travis, they don't put six two and a half Dennis Rodmans out there. You got to be at least a six <laughs> six Dennis Rodman. You can't be a six two Dennis Rodman. That's a good point. It's a good. You got to go on. Well, I mean, Della Dova's about that, right? He's not Dennis Rodman. <laughs> yeah, fuck. but I mean, he's like the same style player. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Just like a role player, like he knows his role and he plays it well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What? He plays just... plays defense. All right. I got you. I don't really know what else to like. Take you know, in. Jason. Do you ooh, know who Larry O'Brien is? Jason. Do you? Ooh, with the curse on it. Yeah. Do you know Coach Larry O'Brien? Do you know who yeah. Larry O'Brien is? It's Coach Larry O'Brien. <laughs> It's the Larry O'Brien trophy. <laughs> you guys took the Larry O'Brien trophy to a guy who doesn't even know who Larry O'Brien is. I'm finding out now. Who's, what's, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> he was the commissioner. That's right. From like 75 to like 80 something. Hey, I should have known that one because he definitely was a commissioner when I was growing up. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> All right. Over to. David Stern. Hey, all there we right. Go. Okay. I hey, see. Before my time. Let me, you know, let me have some time. There we go. Uh, hey. Larry O'Brien, was, is- he was the one that merged the uh, the ABA and the NBA. Really? I believe so. Hopefully. hopefully How I did can. the Harlem Globetrotters get left out of this, Larry? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, honestly, I don't know why the Globetrotters were the Globetrotters – they were just like uh, their own show at all times. Yeah, I don't. Well, the Globetrotters, are, it's like WWE. It's fake basketball. They're just. No, they're now they are. I think originally, though, they were like. They were a legit a team at some point. And I just think they still are an actual team. It's just at a, uh, an amateur level. Well, we're, we're digressing. Um, <laughs> fantastic trophy. It is a beautiful I mean, trophy. It, it, shout out to the NBA. I'm, I'm starting to get fired up. These, uh, these Eastern and Western Conference finals. Are going to be exciting to watch, man. Appreciate the NBA. Should I put a Let Sixers Jason hat have this well, Sixers hat after they just lost? I, I, I think like you're a little late, Jason. Luck. Maybe it'll bring us luck. Oh, next put year. a Sixers hat on it. <gasps> Where's your Cavs hat? Uh, it's upstairs. I'm not going to lie. That's the best Sixers logo right there, too. There we go. Maybe one day. One Screenshot day, Philly. That. Screenshot that, Philly. Who knows right. when the next time you'll see that. Come on, man. What? Too soon. Too soon. Josh. You're right. My bad. My bad. Right. My bad. Hey, listen, it all can't right. just be me and James Harden, all right? That was incredible. Never in a million years did I ever think that the Larry O'Brien trophy was going to be in my <laughs> den. Um, Dude, you or just in my ho- hands. You just ho- I just was it. holding it for a full on 15 minutes. Yeah. My Dude. fingerprints are on it. Yeah. Your finger, you're, you might as well just get engraved in there. Dude. Hey. Engrave them. That chicken grease ain't coming off easy either. <laughs> Good luck, guys. <laughs> that a boy. We to leave your mark the Kelsey way. Uh, all right. I think that's uh, all. Larry, thank you so much for your submission and coming today. Um, that is. Uh, it is noted. It is noted. Very. Still noted. don't. 
I, I still think it's going to be hard to beat Lord Stanley, but it's noted. Yeah, that thing I think was uh, very impressive, even from uh, this view. Dude, I'm not I'm not kidding you. I'm glad it was he came because <laughs> it's way more impressive in person. It's a, that thing is enormous. Coach Larry O'Brien, ladies and gentlemen. Coach, thanks for coming. Jason, with this thing being in your hands today, we gotta we gotta get a prediction out of you, man. Have you do you know who else is who all is still in the NBA finals right now? Um well as of this airing, it's gonna be the Lakers, Dallas, and then I think it's gonna be Miami and Denver. Sorry. Nice. Sorry. Dallas didn't make the playoffs, man. Shout out to yeah, Luka. Yeah, you're right. Luca missed it. Uh Lakers, Denver, and uh Miami and Boston, obviously. Um, and I'm going Lakers. It's you wide think open. The Lakers it's as, are taking it? It's been as wide open as it's ever been. There's nobody. The Lakers really are the taking runner. it. There's no front runner? No, I don't think there is. All right. Who's the front runner? I think uh I think Dallas and Boston are the front runners right now. You mean Denver? How about that? Right <laughs> back at you. God Look at that. It. That's what it's happens a, you hang around Jason, man. Fuck. Well, listen, it, it's the, they're two D names. They're two D names in the South Southern area. Whatever. What? <laughs> How? Denver's in the South Southern area. No, Denver can't be that far from Dallas. Are we still recording this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I think it's going to be LA. I think, I think they got the most, I, I think LeBron's going to get there again. I think he's going to win it again. Dude. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want we'll to see. see. I want to see LBJ get another you, so you one. Think, man. You think it's going to be Denver? No, no. I think it's going to be the Lakers. I do think it's going to be the Lakers. Look at that! I All think this to just agree with maybe, me. I, I think it's yeah. I think it's uh, a rematch of the uh, the bubble. I think it's Lakers Miami. Lakers Miami. Yeah, man. If Jimmy Butler was still a Sixer. Ah, I know that stings, it man. Stings. It stings. Isn't it bad. so easy to cheer for that guy, man? Ah, God. Yeah, of course. He was. Yeah. He just does things the right way. It. How do you let a guy like that out? Can we not talk about this, Travis? Yeah. All right. My bad. Soft spot. Soft spot in Philly. So the last thing we need to talk about this week is we've decided to start a new segment. Yeah. We're launching it this month. It is going to be called May Madness. May Madness. <laughs> May Madness. Not to be. Not to be messed up with March Madness. Oh, I didn't even realize that was a thing. Was a, yeah. <laughs> well, it's going to be a huge competition for you guys to maybe win what will be the most prestigious trophy in all sports. <laughs> That's right. We're doing it big. We're creating our We're own trophy. We're going to be launching the details next week, so make sure you tune in to the Thursday episode next week. We're going to be launching everything you need to know. There, but Here are some things that we do already know. Yes. There will be a bracket. You guys will get to pick winners. That's right. The 92 percenters are going to pick the winners. And one lucky 92 percenter will go home with a brand new New Heights trophy. That's right. We are building a New Heights trophy this thing just for this. is going to be epic. This is going to be it's the be coolest a, trophy that you've ever seen. I'm talking we don't, about. It's, it's, it's going to be so cool. We don't know what it is yet. So, like. We do know it's going to be solid gold. Solid gold. Should we should we have diamonds on it? Yes. It's yeah. Going to have should diamonds we have, on it. This trophy is oh, probably going to be. It's going to be. We're going to we're going to put in some. We're going to put in some money for this thing. Like yeah, we want this thing to be, to be epic. So whoever wins it, um, don't steal it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can melt it down probably if you want to. If you really, if you want the money, but <laughs> oh, it's going to be a limited collector's edition. So I don't know why you would do that. We're going to need some insurance <laughs> on this baby. That's right. Not right now. It's this is uh, going to be the biggest thing we've ever given to the fans yet, and we want to keep doing this stuff. And Made Madness is going to launch the beginning of our fan contest. Yee-hee! So be ready. Tune in next week to see all the details, how you can enter the contest, and what the trophy is going to be, and what the contest is. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a bracket. All right but- now. All right now. Outside of that, fired up for this though. We're fired up for this. Kind of going back and forth, but we are. We know it's going to happen next week, so make sure you're here. All righty, that wraps up this episode. Trav, wrap it up. That is it for New Heights. Actually, I guess I should say, um, yeah, I think all the uh, taking a look at the Larry O'Brien Trophy got us in the mood 
to design our own trophy. Yeah, dude. That's right. And we got to come up with some epic, <laughs> some <laughs> epic for the 92 percenters. The percenters. All righty. That about wraps up this episode, Trav. All right now. This episode of New Heights is in the books. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel to New Heights so you know when all the new episodes are coming out. Uh, remember that the live episode will drop next Monday and that our regular episode is going to come out Thursday, yep. May 25th. Uh, listen, subscribe wherever you get your podcasts and uh, so you know when we release that episode. Got two episodes coming at you next week, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, New Heights is presented by Wave Sports and Entertainment and brought to you by our friends at Fireball. Pound for pound, undisputed shot in America. The best shot in America at that. Follow so on all social media platforms at New Heights Show with 1S for fun clips throughout the week. And uh, thanks to our production and crew for always making us look good and uh, making sure that we don't say anything that you guys shouldn't hear. Hey Thank yo. you to all the 92 percenters for tuning in every single week. Like we said, we got some fun stuff coming up for you guys, so keep checking us out uh, week in, week out. And uh, until the next time, peace! Adios. Ciao. Au revoir. <laughs>